Hi Kinder Friends! I wanted to quick teach you a little bit about some solid shapes since we haven't gotten a chance to learn about them in kindergarten yet this year. So here we go! This is solid shapes. You might be asking yourself, what is a solid shape? Well, let me tell you. Solid shapes look like this. They are shapes that you can hold in your hand. So like a circle is flat. I can't hold that in my hand. A square is flat. I can't really hold that in my hand, but I can hold these shapes. They're 3D shapes. That's a, a, another name for these shapes. They're called 3D shapes. So let's take a look at some of the 3D shapes that you're gonna be learning about this year in kindergarten. The first one looks like this. Do you think you know what it's called? It's called a cube. Can you say that? Cube. A cube kind of looks like a box, doesn't it? Yeah, we have lots of cubes in our house and lots of cubes in our classroom too. The blocks that you play with at school, those are cubes. Now what's really cool about a cube is that it has flat sides that all make the cube together. You put all the sides together and it makes a cube. And each one of the sides on the cube is a square. So there are six sides on a cube and they're all squares. That's what makes it a cube. If they weren't squares, it wouldn't be a cube. It would be a different shape. And we'll talk about that later. So cube is our first shape. It's a solid shape or we sometimes call it a 3D shape. Now, what can be a cube? Let's look at some examples. A block could be a cube. A dice is a cube. An ice cube. It says cube in the name. That's a cube. A gift box can be a cube. And a tissue box can be a cube. Now let's look at another 3D shape. Do you know what this one is called? I'll give you a hint. If you flip it upside down, it rem might remind you of something you might eat ice cream out of. It's a cone. A cone is our next 3D or solid shape that we're gonna be learning about. And a cone is kind of a silly shape. It has one flat side and it's a circle. So the circle is on one side and then the rest of it, it all comes together into a point. So it doesn't have any other flat sides, it just has the circle. That's the one flat side on a cone. Let's see if we can find what can be a cone. A party hat can be a cone. It has a circle where your head goes, right? And then it comes together to be a point. A funnel can be a cone. A funnel is something that grown-ups might use to put oil in their car, or they might use a funnel when they're measuring something in the kitchen when you're baking something. That's a funnel. It's got a big open circle, and then it comes down to a point. That's a, that's a cone. An ice cream cone can be a cone. It's got a big circle where the ice cream goes, and it comes down to a point, right? That's a cone. A traffic cone can be a cone, just the pointy part, right? So the circle goes on the base and then it goes up to a point. That's a cone. And a megaphone can be a cone. A megaphone is something that you might use when you need to get someone's attention, right? Coach might use this when he's outside. So it starts at a little point, right? And then it goes out into a big circle. That's another cone. The next 3D shape we're going to look at is this one. I know. It looks like a circle. You might be thinking, Mrs. Blatchley, that's just a circle. I know what a circle is. But it's hard to show what this shape looks like when it's flat on your screen. This is called a sphere. A sphere is another name for a ball, right? A ball has no flat sides on it, and we it rolls around all the place, right? If it had a flat side, it would stay put but it doesn't have any flat sides. It rolls around, that's a ball. Let's look and see what other things can be a sphere. A ball can be a sphere. A tomato can be a sphere. A balloon is a sphere. A lollipop is a sphere. The earth is a sphere. And the top part of a snow globe is a sphere. Can you say sphere? Sphere. It's kind of tricky to, to say. Sphere. Sphere. Yeah, kind of tricky, right? But it's just a ball. That's all it is. A sphere is a ball. No flat sides. 
And we're gonna look at one more shape. Do you know what this one's called? It's kind of tricky. This one's called a cylinder. Can you say cylinder? Cylinder. A cylinder has two flat sides. It has a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. So just like our cone has a circle on the bottom and it goes up to a point at the top, the cylinder has a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. And then it just has kind of rounded sides all the way around. So let's see what can be a cylinder. A pop can is a cylinder. Your toilet paper roll is a cylinder. A drum is a cylinder. See the top of it is a circle and the bottom of it is a circle and it's got curved sides all the way around. A log can be a cylinder. And a can of soup is a cylinder. Circle on top, circle on bottom, curved sides all the way around. That's what a cylinder looks like. So these are the four basic solid shapes that we're gonna learn about in kindergarten. A cube, a cone, a sphere, and a cylinder. Now there are two other 3D shapes you might hear a little bit about in kindergarten and first grade. One of them is a pyramid. A pyramid has triangle flat sides and then the bottom of it is usually a square or it could be a triangle or maybe a rectangle sometimes, but it has triangles as flat sides. And then another one is a prism. That one has rectangles all on the sides and sometimes it might have different shapes on the ends, but you don't need to worry about those two shapes right now. The ones you need to know are cube, cone, sphere, and cylinder. Those are the solid shapes that we're gonna learn about in kindergarten. <gasps> Quiz time, you ready? I'm gonna show you a shape and you see if you can remember what it's called. Ready, here we go. Hmm, what's that shape? It's got a circle on the bottom. It's got a point at the top. If you flip it over, you can eat ice cream out of it. It's called a cone. All right, let's try another one. Circle on top, circle on the bottom, curve sides. That's called a cylinder. Let's try another one. Ooh, what's this one called? Maybe you have some that looks like this in your freezer made out of ice. It's a cube. And one more. What's that tricky name for this shape? It's not a circle. It's a sphere. Nice job, kinder friends. All right, so those are our four basic shapes, cube, cone, sphere, and cylinder. You guys did a really great job. Thanks for learning with me. Bye, kinder friends.